goes on And so do we Just how we do it is no mystery Sometimes the answer can be hard to find That's something I will never be I'm always here for anything that you need Rain or shine, I'll be the one To share it all as life goes on We share it all as life goes on Perfect. Yeah, let that dry for a couple of days. This chair will be as sturdy as ever. Just think, Drive. If I did this professionally, we'd be incredibly poor. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. What, right, yeah? If Elvis had died on Jupiter, he would have weighed 1,012 pounds. <laughs> Boy, you could barely fit into that white suit as it was. Morning, Westons. Uh, you mind if I answer the phone? <laughs> Thanks. Hello? Hi, Danielle. No, this is my private line. <laughs> that was the maid that answered the other one. Oh. No, really. I got my hand over my heart. <laughs> so, uh, when do you want to get together with the Deedster? Okay, sounds fine. See you then. Does anyone know exactly when hell freezes over? I've got a boyfriend. I think it just did. Daddy, I bought this for my first weekend away with Avery. Now, be honest with me. If you were a man, would you find this attractive? Honey, I am a man. But you're a daddy man, not a man man. Oh, okay. As a daddy man, it's a little skimpy. As a man man, it's a... <laughs> yeah, but that would do. <laughs> Thank you, daddy man. Mm. Maybe I should call you that. Oh, please don't. I can't believe you're still seeing this, Avery. Here we go. My little sister is once again going to attack my first long term relationship in over a year. And why? Because Avery used to be Poco the Clown. <laughs> Not true. I liked him as Poco. But you take off that red nose and he's not a real happy guy. Yes, Avery is a bit fragile, but with good reason. Ten years he gave that circus. Some foreign investors buy it. And where do they choose to cut the budget? Avery and one of the geeks. They let the geek go? I just don't get why you always go out with these nuts. A nut? That is so typical of you, Barbara. You know, you look at Avery and see a man who occasionally thinks he's being followed by Hungarians. <laughs> but I look beyond that and see someone with infinite possibilities. A man who was able to confront his traumatic experiences head on in his best-selling autobiography, I Never Honked for My Father. <laughs> All right, maybe he's not a nut. I just don't get why you always go out with these guys you wind up taking care of. I think the real question, Barbara, is why are you so jealous of my happiness? Jealous? Why would I be jealous of you? Perhaps you should ask your unconscious. Perhaps I should knock you unconscious. <laughs> Try it. All right, girls, if you want to fight, you got to weigh in first. Forget Never mind. <laughs> What is it? Oh, I gotta catch my breath here, you read it. Dear Mrs. Todd, this is a congratulate you on being named... Nurse of the Year! Oh, yippee, yippee. <laughs> Laverne, this was great. You won the Dade County Nursing Association Award. Oh, yippee. <laughs> you get presented a, a plaque at a big bank. Oh, yippee. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, listen to this. Listen to this. You get to give a speech in front of all those people. Lauren, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing you're upset about giving a speech. Oh, Lordy, just put me in a butter churn and toss it over Niagara Falls. That's upset. There is no way I 
can give a speech in front of a crowd full of people. Obviously, I cannot accept this award. Look, Florian, come on, of course you can. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you, me falling to a buttery death? <laughs> Laverne, I've done a lot of public speaking. It's not all that hard. Please, dear, let me help you with this. Well, okay, we could try that. But if it don't work out, I'm going to send some Indian to accept my award like Marlon Brando did at the Oscars. <laughs> How do you look in moccasins and a loincloth? <laughs> Daddy, what's a three-letter word for untruth? Why? So I guess egg is wrong. <laughs> Daddy, Barbara, you remember Avery. Oh, well, how very nice hey. to see hello, you. Hello, hello. What's new, Poco? <laughs> Poco's his clown name, Barbara. We try not to make reference to that anymore. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay with that. That's okay. Avery's just quoted you the basic philosophy of his book, I Never Honked for My Father. <laughs> Oh, well, sorry, I haven't gone around to reading it yet. And I'm okay with that, too. <laughs> Please, come on, sit. Thank you. Avery, tell Daddy about the book. Well, all right. It's, uh, it's about the emotional disturbances I suffered as a clown and uh, my subsequent breakdown and uh, my hellish uh, experience in that snake pit that I was thrown into. <laughs> oh, you were institutionalized. No, I was thrown into a snake pit. <laughs> Oh, Harry, what a lovely daughter you have here. I used to think the world was the most dangerous place until I met Carol. Now I feel so safe and protected, like nothing can ever happen to me. What was that? <laughs> Did you hear a gypsy wagon? It's all right, darling. I told you, any time you hear the tambourines, I'm here for you. Listen, why don't we leave you two, you know, to each other? Avery, I'm feeling romantic. <laughs> Me too. I find our love life very satisfying, but it would be nice if occasionally you would make the first move. Oh, Carol. <laughs> I want to, I really do. But after my experience with the circus, I, I feel that if I put myself out on the line, I'm only gonna get hurt again. But Avery, you can trust me. I'll never hurt you. You needn't be afraid to be more aggressive, more romantically creative. Think Romeo and Juliet and speak lovingly to me while I'm at my bedroom window. Think Cyrano and be like Christian. Climb through my bedroom window. Think bedroom, for God's sakes. I'll try. I'll try. I'm here, just the way you want me, aggressive. Listen, buddy, I've got a gun, so you better stop or I'll shoot. Ooh, I like that part, that's cute. I warned you! Ow! Ow. Poco? Barbara? You shot my boyfriend? I'm okay with that. <laughs> Don't shoot, Barbara. It's just me, your sister. <laughs> Carol, come on. I feel bad enough as it is. Why aren't you at the hospital with Avery and Daddy? They sort of asked me to leave. <laughs> they said I was upsetting people in the trauma unit. <laughs> How's Avery, Daddy? Well, once you left, 
the doctors were finally able to turn their attention to him. <laughs> he's, he's okay, dear. He'll be released tomorrow morning. He'll be on crutches just for a few days. Daddy, I think we should invite Avery to stay here while he recuperates. Honey, I don't know that that's such a good idea. Daddy, we're all responsible for Avery's being in this situation. I asked him to come through the window. Barbara shot him. <laughs> and what did I do? You fathered us, Daddy. Oh, and you don't think I've suffered enough for that? Bye-bye, my sweetheart. Stay healthy. Anybody left? Nope. Day's over. Good night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, you going to write out your speech, and I was going to help you get over your fear of public speaking. Oh, yes, that. Change of heart. Day's over. Good night. <laughs> Probably just as well. I mean, nurse of the year should have the guts to address her peers. Obviously, you don't. Why, uh, you just hold on here a minute. I'll show you some speeching. <laughs> I'd like to thank the members of the Dade County Nurses Association for giving me this award, which I gratefully accept. And as I look out at this large crowd... Oh, 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 I told you I couldn't do this. Damn, I want that award so much. Laverne, you can do it, dear. There's a trick that will get you through this. All you have to do is forget the crowd, focus on my face, and pretend I'm the only one there. Friendly face. That way it won't be so scary. Just stare at your face, huh? Right. Well, I really want this award, and if staring at your face is what I have to do to get it, I just have to bite the bullet. How's that? Does it still hurt? Well, I wouldn't say <clears throat> hurt. It's more of a, a continual throbbing. Oh, my brave little clown turned soldier. Is there anything else I can do? Well, I sure would like some more orange juice. If it's not too much trouble. Too much trouble? There is no such thing. <laughs> Carol, uh, I'm sorry to ask you this, but could you strain the orange juice? Because I just hate pulp. Well, if that's how you want it, then pulp be gone with thee. <laughs> Father, do you know what the strainer is? Nope. Well, what am I going to do? I can't give Avery orange juice with pulp in it. Oh, good, there it is. I can't believe you were making such a big deal about this guy. Barbara, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand why you always get involved with needy guys. Unless maybe you're afraid they won't love you for who you are, only for what you can do for them. Oh, don't practice your dime store psychology on me, Barbara. You stick to your chalk outlines and body bags and leave the neurosis and psychosis to someone who knows. <laughs> Here's your orange juice, darling. I'm afraid I didn't quite get out all the pulp. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, boy, there sure is a lot of it in here. <laughs> well, I'll go start on breakfast. And I'm going to continue reading The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Could you put the light on for me? Oh, well, don't strain your eyes. I'll, I'll read it to you. Oh, no, you don't have to. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm on uh, page 212. It's dog-eared. Oh, there. A cry of horror went up from the vagabonds. Vengeance cried, Tui Fu. You know, this is getting really good. But could you make it a little louder, sort of more forte? Well, I can do better than that. I can take this into the realm of puppet theater. This won't be hard. I'll get buttons for the eyes, a ping pong ball for the hump, socks. I need socks. <laughs> I suppose you're going to make breakfast for him now? No, sock puppets. Oh, give me yours. It's just like Quasimodo. Here, stop it. Barbara, give me your socks. I need the bravery. What are you doing? I'm taking care of Avery. Oh, my God, look at me. I'm ripping the socks off my own sister. So the clown on the couch will love you. I guess you were right. When it comes to men, I feel like I have nothing to offer except what I can do for them. Oh, Barbara. Dear, sweet, insightful Barbara. What do I do now? I don't know. Want to go see RoboCop 2? Carol? I guess the best thing is just to end this relationship now. The sooner I do it, the less he'll be hurt. It's broken. It's broken. But I'm okay with that. A 
And now we move on to the highlight of this afternoon, Dade County's Nurse of the Year Award. Please congratulate this year's winner, Nurse Laverne Todd. Oh, oh Lordy. <laughs> Laverne, you're gonna be fine. Just remember, you focus on me. Pretend I'm the only one in the room. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, oh, Laverne. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the members of the Dade County Nurses Association for giving me this award, which I gratefully accept. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> as I look out at this large crowd, I can't help but think how kind it was of you to come out here today. Oh, sorry. It's my deep review. Excuse me. I got Why, it seems like only yesterday I graduated from nursing school and... Oh, 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 okay. Oh, Lordy, all dressed up and nothing to say. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, this is all Dr. Weston's fault. He told me I'd be fine up here. He told me just to picture his face in front of him. I can hear me. I can hear him saying them words right now. I just can't. I just really can't. I can picture his face. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> long after my nursing days are behind me, I shall still cherish the memory of this day. For this is not just my award, but an award for nurses everywhere. For every nurse that has ever bandaged a wound, this is for you. For every nurse that has ever comforted a frightened child, this is for you. And this is also for someone very special, without whom I would not be here right now, the finest doctor any nurse could ever hope to work for, albeit highly disorganized. <laughs> Dr. Harry Weston, thank you. <laughs> Hi, uh, Avery. Hi, Harry. Oh, you're looking a whole lot better. <laughs> what happened? I broke his nose. Ah. I didn't mean to, Daddy. I was on my way in there to break up with him. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, dear. How did he take it? Don't you want to know why? No. I didn't get a chance to tell him. I broke his nose before I could break his heart. <laughs> Daddy, would you do me a favor? Anything, dear. Break up with Avery for me? What are you... <laughs> are you out of your mind? You're right, Daddy. It's my responsibility. Don't worry about how this might affect me. It's more important that I do what's right than that I live. All right, I'll do it. Thank you, Daddy. I knew you'd understand. Yes. No pulp in this. <laughs> Avery, we have to talk. This doesn't sound so good. I, th I think I, <clears throat> I need to pace. Okay, okay, here, 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 now. Let me help you, let me help you, let me help you. You're very kind. Yes, well, it's my pleasure. Now, anyway, listen, I think what we have oh, to talk that's about... A, that's a little fast. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> How's that? That's quite nice. <laughs> Avery, dear, look, uh, listen. Let's go into the kitchen. I'll make some coffee. You'll be more comfortable. You're a very gracious host. Come, 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 come. Come, dear. <clears throat> Nice and easy, 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 easy. easy. Right okay. There you go. Now, sit down right here. Relax. Take it easy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you okay? Oh, perfect, thank you. Good, okay. Now listen. Maybe I should... Whoa! I'm okay with that. I'm okay. okay. Here, here, here. Why don't you sit over here? Are you sure that's okay? Yeah, look, that's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you're okay. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I just fixed this chair. I'd have to say you didn't. Uh, look, uh, look, uh, why don't I uh, go get you, you know, a pillow just to support your back a little? Oh, Daddy, thank you. Thank you for talking to Avery. I didn't tell him yet, dear. He fell down and hurt himself again. The man is a walking catastrophe. <laughs> Is he okay? Well, he seems to be. 
Then I'd better tell him. Come with me for moral support. Maybe I'd better wait. Till what? Till we finished him off? <laughs> Hi, Carol. <laughs> Avery. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but it's become clear to me that our relationship is based on neurotic codependency. Now, I think the healthy thing for both of us is to end it now. But I know, Avery, that like everything else in your life, you'll be okay with that. What? <laughs> Are you crazy? This really hurts. What happened to I'm okay with that? Obviously, that philosophy is just a lot of crap. Daddy, help me. Okay. Uh, Avery, 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 dear, dear. Uh, listen to me. Uh, look how much you've accomplished these last few days. I mean, you used to be terrified of the world. Now look at you. Huh? You've been shot. You've had your nose broken. I'm sure there's some major damage from the chair thing. Uh, the, the, the point is that... Whatever awaits you out there in the world couldn't possibly be worse than what has happened to you here in our home. You're a wise man, Dr. Weston. That was good, Daddy. Carol, could you please hand me the crutches? Thank you. Well, as they say in the circus, goodbye. <laughs> Here, 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 let me help you with that. No. No. It's time I begin helping myself. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, Daddy. Oh, all right, honey, look, I'm sorry it's over, but I'm sure you're going to find another man out there. Come on. No, no.